Hi, this will be kind of like a offline live stream about what is a precision boost overdrive. So let's jump into it. Pretty much, um, well, while I was writing while I was writing the uh, written review for the Ryzen 2700X processor in Spanish, I came up again with the leaked slide of AMD's uh, marketing material about the new processors. And one of the features uh, exclusively for the 400 series chipset and for the Ryzen X processors is um, this new feature called Precision Boost Overdrive. What it is, pretty much, uh, well, according to the uh, slide, it's a um, overclock on top of the normal XFR to enhance. If you want to use this option, you need the, well, an X470 or a B450 motherboard, as you see over here, well, according to, to these slides, Precision Boost Overdrive, yes, and yes, B450. Another suggestion I would give is, is since if you're using this, I wouldn't cheap out on the power supply. Pretty much is a future of well, overclocking future for for this new AMD processors. And well, you need the well the the motherboard, and I would suggest also a better cooling than the Rafe Prism cooler. We'll talk about that later. But first, uh, let's run Cinevent real quick. There's a few things I want you to notice real quick. Um, one of them, them is the frequency that it works with. Right now we're on uh, stock settings just with, with XMP enabled. Uh, so one of them is the frequency. We'll be doing two loads. One load will be um, Cinevent R15 real quick, uh, real quick run. And the other one will be uh, PUBG real quick. So frequency and also voltage. Right now the voltage on idle is around 1.431 since it's on idle, well, it's at the top, I, supposedly idle uh, voltage while doing nothing. Uh, so yeah, and on load will be way lower. You want to be worried when you're in load since it's, well, if there's any kind of degradation will be if it's a high voltage and a, well, and a huge load of current at the same time. So yeah, let's go to Cinevent real quick, open it up. Make a run. I'll try to remember. This is the second time doing this video, so yeah. I'll, uh, hopefully, it will be better than the first one. <laughs> anyway, so yes, uh, we'll run Cinevich. First thing, frequency with frequency without the PEO option enabled. It's uh, 40, 50 megahertz roundish, more or less. It'll, yeah, it's a 40, 50, pretty much. And the core voltage on this load is just 1.237 volts. The sensor uh, readings are kind of accurate on Ryzen actually it's pretty good there's some few posts about it it'll be better just to like reading from the back of the socket but yeah let's go like this 80 20 well the normal results i have without pvo on on cinema around 1820 to 1840 ish no nothing over that right now so yeah now let's load um pubg real quick let's see if i have everything i need so let's explain real quick what's the difference between Intel's MCE or multi core enhancement and PVO. Well, let's explain for those who don't know what's uh, Intel's MCE. Intel MCE is an auto overclock option that you can enable it. And what it does is pretty much locks all cores to the full turbo speed, which is 4.7 uh, uh, gigahertz. On AMD, and luckily, Overclock is not that exciting. Actually, overclocking can hurt your performance on one to two core um, um, tasks or program software that uses like, I don't know, like Word, Excel, Office programs and other kind of loads. Web browsing, well, web browsing is not a big issue, but yeah, it can a little bit uh, be worse than expected performance by using manual overclock. So yeah, that's uh, well, that's what MC is. Uh, well, that's that's what you can expect on these new Ryzen processors by while well, doing manual overclock. And uh, PVO, it's a much better of the both of two worlds. On low lower load programs, it'll, it'll work at um, top uh, boost for uh, one core um, uh, one, one core CPU, oh, well, one or two up to two core turbo boost, which is 4.35 uh, gigahertz. Right now, if you see in PUBG, uh, the low, well, the, the frequencies around on all cores 41, 24, 
on gaming do, this will depend it might be a little bit lower or a little bit little, little bit higher um so yeah that's what it looks like on uh, without mc on let's check my notes before continuing uh why would i well i, I think i explained why would i go M well pvo over manual overclock for daily usage kind of late, late daily usage uh, so we'll let's go to the bios options how to enable pvo and see what's the difference uh with pvo on with and pvo off and there's some few options on precision boost overdrive on bios you might want to uh, tweak try and well yeah so let's go to bios well, going to bias one thing i want to note uh actually cooling matters cooling matters on on by enabling for precision boost overdrive i've used the uh, cooler stock a little bit with this option it doesn't scale that well the only uh, task i used uh, while well, using precision boost overdrive and the uh, cooler stock the wraith uh no prism the wraith prism is that it was around 25 megahertz more on cinevench uh it's actually really sensitive to temperature kind, uh, kind of right now i'm using a um, um all-in-one cooler thermal take flow ring 360 for all this uh, well for, for this uh, video so let's go uh how to enable this on uh, the gigabyte board uh it's on peripherals uh on amd cvs on the nbio common options snort fridge io options and here it is precision overdrive configuration there will be a warning message uh, blah 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 uh, we are not liable for any amd is not liable for any uh, uh manufacturer's warranty for the, since this pretty much is overclock this is overclock it's a wow smart way of doing overclock actually i like this feature a lot so yeah uh, let's enable it precision boost overdrive enable there's a second well there's three options i haven't tried the manual option real really i'm just basically enable this secondary option on gigabytes uh, motherboard i don't know if an asus or msi asfrog motherboards uh, the layout is the same i haven't tried uh, other motherboards yet and um, yeah so there's three options here this is the oh this, pretty much what it does this i guess this applies a lower curve because i tried auto if people are worried about voltages and frequency i would just leave it leave this at auto actually it's in between i guess and aggressive and um, well not so aggressive um frequency and voltage curve we'll leave it right now on uh, at the, the highest setting which is 10 times 10 times king kai fist um, i mean uh, well yeah so we'll see how it works with fre uh, frequency and also voltage i repeat if you're not comfortable with uh frequency and voltage you can tweak this uh option from 10 times to some somewhat lower or leave it on auto auto actually it's not that aggressive it, it yields some uh, uh frequency um gains and well and the voltage applied is not that high so yeah we'll see right now on windows how much it applies on voltage i wouldn't personally since i'm enthusiast over clocker, clocker i wouldn't worry about too much since the you'll see some kind of uh, high voltages that it works it works just around uh, when it's kind of an idle uh when it's on loads on high loads uh, and the voltages are lower than or, or, or are at the maximum voltage amd um uh, suggests for daily manual overclock which is 1.425 volts to the v core so yeah let's open our info if you want to manage well i i, I don't know if i uh, mentioned this if you want to monitor with amd 100 percent uh suggested use our info it's really uh, it's really good software for monitoring so yeah so the voltage a little bit higher you see we're not doing anything pretty much just uh well the total usage right now it's pretty much 0.5 percent one percent of the all the all the cpu usage so let's run real quick cinevent run again check up the frequency and uh, we'll check the frequency and the voltage real quick for uh cinevent so yes cpu usage as you'll see it's around 100 megahertz or more frequency it can be a little bit more for uh, dynamic it's well right now it's just 
doesn't want to go well beyond 41.50. I've seen it go to 41.75. But anyways, uh, yeah, 41.50, 100 megahertz on. Voltage is around 1.37 uh, voltage. As I mentioned, if you use the Rafe uh, Prism Spire, it doesn't um, it doesn't work that well. It just increases around 25 megahertz. Voltage will be the same. It's actually really sensitive to the uh, to uh, the cooler you have. Cooler cooling matters uh, since this overclock power supply matters. So yeah, the Cinevent score is way much higher as you see. Well, 1879. So uh, we'll be real quick on pop. G and see the frequency over there. Actually, the frequency is higher also on on, on games, which can be useful for uh, gaming for those applications that use uh, well matter frequency and uh, whenever you you load it. Uh, let me check through my notes. Anything else I want to mention? Personally, I like this option way much better than doing manual overclock. Manual overclock, since Ryzen don't overclock that well, has some limitations. This will fix for most users that limitation. If you want, you need manual overclock for productivity stuff that uses all cores and threads. Actually, manual overclock will be the way to go. But for daily usage, since you use, like, I don't know, productivity stuff like Office or Excel, uh, or some productivity loads that actually benefit on uh, high frequency and gaming, probably this option is way much better. Um, as I said, you can tweak up, um, monitor your voltages and frequency by yourself if you're using the manual override um, setting of 10 times to how, how it works. I haven't tried all of them. But yeah, oh, let's go real quick again to PUBG. If you see, uh, the frequency is way much higher. We were around 4125 megahertz, I think. Yep, here it's around 4300. It will depend. I've seen it go up, up to uh, in gaming, just gaming loads, up to 4350. If you haven't checked my playlist on 2700X, most of them are on uh, using the same configuration, precision boost overdrive and 10 times uh, King Kai Fist. Uh, option anyways uh yeah so yeah this is a dynamic so big difference between mc mc just locks all, all turbo cores at the max single core uh turbo boost uh this um precision boost overdrive is like dynamic depends on the load you use it will be a lower frequency on really low uh demanding uh task it will be at maximum single core on all cores and all eight cores it's pretty nifty so yeah, I'm using a 1080 Ti, bro. You probably don't want to be using my setup since uh, 1080 uh, P Ultra, but if you have a 1440 1440 P monitor or, or 4K monitor, or maybe you have a 1080 P uh, 144 hertz or 240 hertz uh, monitor, who knows? But yeah, if you like this video, uh, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. And if uh, f feedback is useful. You can like and subscribe to the channel. You can like on us on Facebook. It's in Spanish, but if you send me an inbox, I'll probably reply it if you have any doubts. You can leave also your comments on YouTube. And there's a Patreon link right now lower, uh, in the description below. A very special thanks to Gigabyte, who, which uh, enabled all this testing with their new C, uh, X, X470, well, Gigabyte X470 RS Gaming 7 Wi-Fi. I have a written Spanish show. Uh, review on it if you want it in english i guess you, uh, well google translate helps and any doubt and options well really thanks because they provided also the processor for all the tests and yeah if you need any more descriptions on the hardware used i'll link it on the description so yeah uh, that's it for for today folks and thanks